For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you gotta find the Thevenin equivalent circuit with respect to the terminals A and B for the circuit shown. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find this R Thevenin. To find this R Thevenin, what you gotta do is you gotta short the voltages, voltage sources, so you're gonna short this. Actually, let me, let me do that on the other layer, not to confuse you. Okay, so when you short this and then you calculate the resistance right here. So this is what we're gonna do. We have this circuit and now this is shorted. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine this two. We're gonna combine this two in parallel and we're gonna get this new circuit. You got the 12 ohm resistance at the top still have this 8 ohm resistance right here but you have a new combination of the 5 in parallel with the 20 ohm resistance right here then you're gonna combine these two resistances together and you're gonna get the 12 ohm resistance at the top and the another 12 ohm resistance at the bottom because when you combine this 5 in parallel with this 20 and then you add it with the A because they're in series that's what you get and then you get of course the 12 in parallel with the 12 which comes out to be 6 6 ohms so the 5 in parallel with the 20 is the first thing is the first step and it comes out to be 4 ohms then the 4 is in series with the 8 and it comes out to be 12 ohms and then you have this 12 ohms so it's 2 12 ohm make a 6 ohm um, equivalent uh, resistance so this is R Thevenin so as you can see R Thevenin is equal to 6 ohms let me turn the page the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do use Kirchhoff uh, laws in order to find various things. So let's say this joint right here is one, and let's say this one is number two. So we're gonna do KCL at one. So to do KCL at one, we got this five ohm resistance right here this 20 ohm and this 8 ohm resistance right here so this is positive so I would say this current is going this way I would say this current is going that way because here's the ground and I would say if this is positive current will be going this way therefore this way this way and this way which means it's going this way so KCL at 1 says that the sum of the currents going into the node are equal to 0, going into another of the node are equal to 0. So the current going through the 5 ohm resistance plus the current going through the 8 ohm resistor minus the current going through the 20 ohm resistor is equal to 0. Why is this 1 minus? Because as you can see in the node is coming out of the node 1 right here. So remember that the currents, according to Ohm's law, voltage is equal to currents times resistance. So current is equal to voltage over resistance. So this uh, five, uh, the current going through the five ohm resistor is equal to, let's call this voltage V1. V1, actually, sorry. This is 72 volts, positive 72 volts. This is zero volts the voltage at node 1 is V1 and the voltage at node 2 is V2 so V1 minus 72 over the 5 ohm resistance plus I8 will be V1 minus V7 because you know that V7 is the voltage uh, right here or V2 V2 is equal to V7 
over the resistance which is 8 ohms minus 0 minus V1 over 20 that's the current going through the 20 ohm resistor 0 minus V1 over 20 and all of that is equal to 0 so you can further uh, simplify this and you get V1 over 5 minus 72 over 5 plus V1 over 8 minus V7 over 8 plus V1 over 20 is equal to 0 <coughs> so when you clean this up you're gonna get this equation 0.375 V1 minus 0.125 V7 is equal to 14.4 and I'm gonna call this equation 1 make a note of this equation because I'm gonna turn the page Now we're going to use KCL at node 2. Remember, this is node 2. And I call this voltage at node 2 V7 because V7 is obviously this, but we're calling this voltage on this node right here 0. That being said, we said we had current going through here and through here. So you know that the current going through the 12 ohm resistance this current right here minus the current going through the 8 ohm resistance is equal to zero so this current right here is all the same current so the current going through the 12 ohm resistance is, is equal to the v7 in minus 72 over 12 and the current going through the 8 ohm resistors as we said before is v1 minus v7 in over 8. So again, some basic algebra, you can eventually clean up this equation so that it gives you 0.208 V7 minus 0.125 V1 is equal to 6. And I'm going to call this equation 2. So I'm going to write equation 1. Let me actually turn the page again clean everything up. So equation 1 that I told you to make a note of is equal to 0.375B1 minus 0.125B7 is equal to 14.4. Equation 2, I'm going to multiply it by 3. So equation 2 times 3, every single value you're going to multiply by 3 is going to look like this. Minus 0.375B1 plus 0.624b7 is equal to 18. So this is some basic algebra. You just add these two equations together. And as you can see, the v1s cancel out. And this is equal to 0.499b7 is equal to 32.4. So when you solve for b7, you get that this is equal to 64.9 volts. So we already find R7 in, I got 64.9, it's 64.8, it's just a matter of sig figs, but we got the right answer. So we got R7 in to be 6 ohm, we got B7 in to be 64.9 volts, so the equivalent circuit looks something like this, 6 ohm and 64.9 volts final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you